Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 15 of Let's Play Space Engineer. So, I think my sound, I could probably put it up a bit. I think I kind of figured out why it was being so bad. Pain in the ass, that's all I can say. But anyways, um, yeah, so let's, let's get started here. So last time we unfortunately lost our ship. So we are going to work on building a new ship today. And thankfully Fugner's not here. And, um... Yeah, I guess let's get started on that. I kind of feel sad. I destroyed my ship. I got my miner here, so we can still mine resources and stuff. But we still need a, another little traveling ship again, for sure. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's do this. So, let's hit G, new small ship. Uh, the next episode. Actually, it might not be the next episode. I might do two or three episodes tonight. But, uh, yeah, the, the update's coming soon, uh, which will be exciting. I'm sure some people will be excited by that. And uh, who knows what will bring us. I don't know if the turrets are coming in this episode. Uh, or not this episode, I shouldn't say, but the next update. But we'll, we'll find out anyways. Um, do, 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 do. Did you say you're back? Yeah. Don't look on Steam for, for your own self. I stab you. I said don't look there. I don't look on Steam. No, don't don't go there. Pretty bad website, right? Pardon? Pretty bad website. Never want to go in there. Website? By the way, you're on a Let's Play. Oh. Hi. <laughs> this is Fugner. He quits all the games we ever play. Uh huh. Why I, sit, space engineers. why I sit here alone in Space Engineers once again. You're gonna be like that. For I'm another minute because Fugner's computer sucks and it takes him so long to load the game. He's still gonna fucking find it. There it is. I have to rebuild my small ship. I blew it up last episode. Do you fly outside or what would you do? I went to one of those mine layering ship and I'm like, I'm gonna put on the brakes. And I, I had a feeling it was going to blow up when I did that, but I had thought I had my ship, like, far enough and high enough kind of thing, and it took out my ship. So, yeah, that was the story of me losing my ship, because I don't cheat like you guys, right? I actually dock on the ships and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I docked on I docked on the cannon, and I knew when I applied brakes there was probably going to be, like, a booby trap or something, and when I did, yeah, it took out my ship. I live, though. I had to fly home limping. Ooh, the new cockpits might be actually in soon, too. I think they're making more variety cockpits for smaller ships. Ooh. The ones that aren't, like, shaped so awkwardly? As far as I know, we'll have to see. I do have those little dev things I've been looking at, but I don't really like spoiling it for everyone else. Inside information only for me. Okay, let's see here. Thankfully, Benner went to bed. <laughs> oh, God. And it was working perfect before. I so suck at orientation. Ah, ah, ah! Yeah! Okay, bulletproof glass, computer display. Bulletproof glass, computer display. Bulletproof glass. Uh, computers. I don't know how many. And, yeah, so we need a bulletproof glass, right? Oh! Oh, I thought my game's frozen. Nope, maybe not. Did you just join? Oh, that's why. Well, it was weird because it's like it was letting me do stuff, but it wasn't, and I was in a menu, and I've just never had that kind of a freeze. Yeah, when Fugner joins, it does a little a little lag there for fun. Yeah, you got to keep working on your s station. I didn't actually 
I think I said last time I was going to look at people's stations, so let's give Fugner a review. Okay, I give this station a, a zero. What the? Why is there a hole in the back of your station? What do you mean? What blew up? We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Wait. You're not at your station? Did you spawn here? Where did you spawn? I can't wait to tab in. <laughs> You're what? Yeah, I'm tabbed, uh, I'm loading. Oh, like, you, oh, you haven't loaded yet? Yeah, no. I don't see you in-game. I was like, maybe you cheated and spawned in a new ship? You got power, though. I don't think you turned anything off. Yeah, no. Wait. Oh, oh no, never mind. There's just no power control in the medical rooms? Huh, that's weird. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to turn it off, I guess. Probably for good reasons. That's Fugner's base, and then the actually good-looking base is over here. Mine? No. This is Benner's. Benner put actual effort into his base. Hey, do you know how much, like, a stair of? Have you seen Benner's base, though? Let's see. This guy's Mr. ADD. Like, I'm surprised he could even spend, like, three seconds doing this. <laughs> He's got ramps and everything going on here. I don't think it's too bad at all. I like it. Oh cool, it goes out here too. Huh. Didn't even realize there was another little, an actual entrance in. See there's stairs down here. <laughs> And I like ramps would probably be cheap in this And area. he's like has them going into the uh, asteroid. Better all for realism, I guess. Well, I guess mine's somewhat realistic then. Cause mine's embedded into the asteroid. Mine's embedded. No, we don't care, Fugner. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of these windows that cost like thousand plates each. Guess they don't want you to use windows, huh? Yeah. Costs you more materials for the windows, and it uses materials that don't make sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, there is a hole in the back of my base. I think the idea of windows are lame. They shouldn't have done windows. They should have done... I mean, if you're going to go for the best construction material possible anyways, they should have just done, like... Uh, like LCD type uh, display on a wall, like the block, and it just has a like a micro camera on the other side of it, and basically gives you like the view of looking through it as a window. Wouldn't and that be smart? I mean, you could pretty much do I that mean, with our technology. Windows now they're kind of ugly. They're just like slotted things. Yeah, I'm just saying. I think that would have been a cooler idea. And then you use like some more expensive construction material, just like some displays and whatever else, but... Do you ever have problems placing blocks sometimes? Maybe I'm just a derp. I think it's the ladder. It's like I'm special, I, I can place it, I swear I can place them. Ooh, look at that, neat small steel tube. Was it small steel tube? I don't know what it was actually. Large steel tube. Man, I need a large steel tube and all you have to offer is small ones, Fugner. Hey, yo. Yeah. Yeah, screw these windows. Isn't that the fun though? Taking your time, building it. Get to play once a week when Kane turns the server on. Hey, it's not my fault they don't have dedicated servers. I'd have to buy another account just to do it 24-7 on another computer. You should ask Benner for his uh, Elder Scrolls account now. That guy. 
I don't think he'll ever play it again, to be honest. Or if he does, he'll be like, oh, because Fugner's playing. I don't want to play for, like, a day. <laughs> I fed my horse this evening, so we're good. Get daily quests, but with your horse. Yep. Yeah, Every 20 hours, I, I can feed my horse. Get one more percent of uh, speed on him. I think you can feed him up to 50 times or something. So it's like a like forty day plus you know amount of work. It's not really a quest, but so yeah. Hopefully we won't lose our ship again. I like the design I did. Do we get airlocks? Airlocks? I don't know. I don't even know if they've actually really officially <laughs> said we're gonna have airlocks. You know, but a lot of people keep talking about, even on my YouTube channel, they're like talking about plants and crap, and I, I like it. I like it a lot. Where the hell is my plants, boy? Damn it, that mining transport. I hope one day it runs out of power. I'll pay you if you can catch up to it, Fugner. Yeah. I might for fun try to take the private sail down. Yeah, it'll get annoying after a while. Well... The minor one's worse, but you know, the private sail can like it's on a generator right now, the reactor, but it has uh, solar panels on it. So yeah, once the reactor goes out, the solar panels will keep it running. Well, I guess I should have weld those bottom parts, huh? Actually, let's break this for a second. There we go. We should probably weld these bottom parts. I don't want like one of the weakest parts to just break. There we go. So we got the front back. We're gonna do double back thrust anyways, but uh Front, back, and side thrust. Oh, we need up and down thrust. Gonna get that up and down thrust. Up and down thrust. I almost like, feel like just putting it here too, you know? I seem to be putting everything in the one spot now. I like that idea. Eight. Oh. Let's do it like th uh, Yeah, like that. One thing I don't think I've seen is, I don't think, a, like, the meteors, well, they probably do, but I've just never really seen a meteor outside of an asteroid. Yeah. Like, I know they go towards your asteroid, and it seems to go towards you, like, wherever you are, but, like, when I've been out in space exploring these big ships and stuff, I've never actually seen a barrage of, like, meteors come after me. Suit's apparently getting very low. <laughs> Threw Andy's bottle of hair gel away, he'll probably never even know. Looks like a brand new bottle, too. <laughs> well, you know, I was doing my business on the toilet. I reached back, you know, going grabbing the toilet paper. Yeah, we don't want a toilet paper hole, don't ask, boy. Um, and my hand went into hair gel. 
Yeah, he left it wide open sitting on the back of the toilet. So I was like, okay, fuck that. Wipe my fingers. Wipe my ass, if you must know. And then took the hair gel and threw it in the garbage can. And then when he came home, I'm like, there's something of yours in the garbage can. He's like, ew, I'm not looking in there. And just walks away. (laughs) At least I warned you. And when he gets mad, he can just say, hey, I told you. Yep. I don't give a shit. He, he's he got such bad ADD this day and age that he probably won't even remember. Don't forget, Fungner. Jesus loves you. I've actually been watching uh, Supernatural lately. It's like all I can say is, you know, anyone who prays to God is only hoping for death and doom. In that show, all the angels had basically fallen from heaven. Heaven's closed now. And, like, the angels are going around the planet causing, like, hell on earth. <laughs> Like, I like this. Now I can see why everyone wants to be a Christian. It was actually cool, because in the show, because uh, it showed me in it, Cain, you know, Cain and Abel. Um, Cain killed his brother because, I guess, Abel was going to have to go to hell or something like that. And uh, I guess Cain made a deal or something that instead he would go to hell. But the deal was that he had to kill his brother Abel. So he killed his brother Abel and then he ended up going to hell. And I guess Cain was one of the knights of hell or whatever. And he was like the most like feared demon of all time kind of thing. Pretty accurate. <laughs> Thanks. Knowing you, you haven't even watched that episode of Game of Thrones yet. Wait, you haven't seen any episode of Game of Thrones yet, have you? I'm gonna... No, don't even say that. No, doesn't. No, no. Look for a half decent corn. Oh, let's play series. (laughs) Oh, I mean, legally. Find a way to watch it. Goodbye, Fugner. I hope you enjoy your sleepover with Obama. <laughs> he, like, personally comes and sleeps with you. <laughs> oh, my. I'm here to teach you not to torn. I want to see what this offers. Oh, I don't have all the parts. I'm too lazy. Okay, so we got... That, that, that. Oh, yeah, we need a react all. Get it? React. Because it has a reaction! Hmm. We'll put it on the back here. A bit more away from things this time. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, reactor components. Metal grid. Or something else was missing there. Yeah. Whee! Oh yeah, computers. Okay, uh, control panel, or protection, sorry. Reactor components. Hmm. 
By the way, tomorrow's the update. For Faith and Jace? Yep. Oh, it's Thursday. Yeah, every Thursday. So far, it's been that way. Wonder what we're getting this Thursday. And they've been doing good on sales, too. I'm really happy for them. A lot of people, like, chewed me out when I first played this game because they're like, you're an asshole for supporting this company because they built Marner Wars or whatever, and they're like, oh, they screwed those players. And it's like, in a sense, they did screw those players because they didn't come out with everything they promised, but at the same time, we, it's the players screwed them because no one really bought their game, and it's like, okay. So it's like, you come out with a game, and let's just say you promise all these features, and then you only get, like, a thousand people to pay from it. Like, it's like, you know, okay, we went through our money for the past, like, you know, they pretty much lost their money developing this game, and then people expect updates to still happen. It's like, that point's... No. It, it's a little hard. Question. Like, do they have a publisher, or are they independent? I think they were independent on themselves. Uh. Yeah, they weren't, like, relying on, like, actual money coming in or whatever. They weren't, like, a big AA company or anything. It's an indie game, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, reactor components. Oh yeah, computer components. Yeah, it sucks what happened with their. Oh, yeah, I hit, forgot to hit my bind key. But yeah, it sucks what happened to him. But I kind of support it. I said, you know what? I mean, I feel like these guys are being honest. They, you know, everyone gets a, should have a get a second chance anyways. It didn't go too well, and they seem to be pretty honest here. And I, I believe in them and. <laughs> and look how far they've come since then. I mean, it's a good game, and I mean, yeah. what I can tell, they've been pretty vocal with the community and keeping it decent, like, you know, update schedule. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's still personally, this is like a hundred times better than Minecraft, though. Schedule-wise. Yeah. I don't I don't mean, like, the game is physically better than Minecraft. Oh, yeah, but... Yeah, well, actually, it kind of is, much but... Better. I mean, it actually kind of is. It's just it has just different things from Minecraft versus this, right? Like, it's not like you start on a planet and mine your way to space. That would be kind of cool, though. <clears throat> start. Yo, that game is too good for this world. <laughs> Plus, actually, you might like that game because a lot of people don't like the Terraria. Well, a lot of people like the Terraria style games, but you have to remember. I don't like it. Like Our it. game has the 2D down view kind of space game. For the space, yeah. Yes, and we're going to make that like a... It's going to feel like an entirely another game to it. And we're going to combine the two parts, so, you know, you benefit, of course, doing both of them, but it'll feel like almost like a complete different game. I like the whole Terraria style. Is that why you played, like, ten minutes? That's why I have, like, you know... An hour on it? X hours. X hours? Just an X hour? Let's find out how many hours I have. That's not even two digits. X is just one digit. Actually, isn't X ten? No. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I didn't get taught numerical blah, blah blah can't talk numbers and... You think they teach education here? <laughs> have you ever heard Kane talk before? Raria. 56 hours. How many do I have? Yeah. Uh, it's some ungodly number. Go look, go look. They want to know. Okay. King guy. Oh, that reactor is probably a bad place to play this. That now I think about it. You know what? I think I'm gonna split it. I think I'm gonna do that. Something a little different. Oh. 16 hours. 716? That's it? Wonder what yeah, my star bound is. Probably like only 20. How much? 390. <laughs> How much is your star bound? I, I don't even know. Star How come you didn't get star bound? That was one I game. Know. You would have. Like, 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 it kind of came at a weird time. But, uh, like, I kind of regret not getting into it. When you get a bit of money again, I mean, we should do like something like this, like a Let's Play series, and play Starbound together, too. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. It was pretty cool. I mean, I enjoyed the hell of Terraria when I saw Starbound. It was like, this is Terraria, but better. It's yeah, it's like, Terraria like times 20, right? Like. Yeah, but I regret not like hopping on when we had this big like hop and server. Well, honestly, you probably didn't want that. It was too hackish. It's still better to play with just a couple friends. 
it's just too exploity, broken, people hack. Like, you could just say hi in chat and all of a sudden somebody teleports to you and, like, <laughs> destroys everything and steals from your ship. So it's still better to play, like, in a small group, but... If they had dedicated servers. Yeah, well, when, whenever you buy it, we can do, like, a little mini Let's Play on it. I definitely had fun playing it, though. And I actually haven't really played it since they've done a lot of the updates and changes to it, too. Then again, I haven't seen a lot of news on it, so... I wonder if the devs have been sort of snoozing, or... I don't know. I'll look into that. Does this have a down thruster? Huh. Make sure you have all of your thrusters before you leave this 10k. Yeah. I only... Uh... Yeah, do we? Should I install a gyro though to it? That's the question. <laughs> I want one of those. I was just gonna test it to see if those back uh, thrusters would get burnt by the forward ones. Are you twitching? Like, am I twitching when I move around right now? Oh God, you are. Yeah, you're twitching for me too. There's something going on with all this lighting and all this, I don't know. There's something going on with the game. Definitely feel it. Yeah. yeah. It's weird, though, because it's, like, not an issue. Like, I used the interior lighting even, like, on our last world. I didn't have these issues. Maybe it's because we're in the caves, or it's probably... You know the details on the asteroid? Yeah, you know, all the... like, the light reflecting off of it. And... Yeah. I mean, have you been out there? Is. Like, it's so complex. I mean, out there, it's... I mean, like, out in... Regular space is pretty smooth, but yeah, it's just here. Yeah, be. we'll have to see what the tomorrow update brings. If they don't bring asteroid killers at like a like a hundred percent rate, might just consider disabling asteroids, and then maybe we can just move our base or something. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I think they're coming from your side, aren't they? And I think most of my leg, when I look at your side, I think I lag more than when I look at my side. <laughs> I feel like I I, perform, like I move my head around, and I feel like I, I'm smoother looking the opposite way. So I'm pretty sure it is what it's doing against the asteroid. Okay, we need that gyroscope. Gyro! Gyro! Are you there, Gyro? Gyro here! Oh, it's Gyro. I don't know where to put him. Just randomly. Oh, I need two motors. Two motors and five construction components. Okay, two motors and... I don't know what I said for that. Oh, I should probably right-click over, right? Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, if I twist around like this, will it be a smoother? Ow. You know when you're like welding on a small ship and it vibrates around a bit? I guess I was like in front of the thruster doing that, and the thruster fires up a little bit. Only took 2% health, but it was like, oh god! Okay, got the gyro. I just walked into a wall and lost, like, health. What just happened? You're new. It's alright, fun. You're new to life. Obviously. Walk, walking comes next. Funny, funny. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. I almost hit the wrong button. I hit F5 accidentally. It's like, we'd like to quick load. <laughs> I'm going to save the progression after that. <laughs> I'm sure you keep remembering the save. I might, like, every time I, like, get a bunch of ore, I'm, like, not losing this today. Hi, Fungner. Hi. Oh, why does it even do damage? <laughs> Maybe it's because they're not built yet. So you're gonna do damage, I don't give a shit. 
<laughs> no, they don't do damage. Yeah, I guess there's a thing on it. Like, this would definitely cause a burnout. Well, this is my new ship. Nice. Maybe it's pointless to even, like, put all the... I, I like covering it all up, but at the same time, what is it going to do? We should have dog fights, but no missiles, just uh, <laughs> little Gatling guns. Like the little pea shooters. <laughs> they're cute. Like they're so weak. Oh yeah, they're weak. Let me show you one. Oh, you know what you should do? You should point like a Gatling gun. Like you should make like wings for your ship. Put I one Gatling gun did that forward. before. Like tried oh, it, and the they ran out of ammo within like ten seconds. Did you spin? Like, I I put, like, you can only fill them with, like, a few things of ammo, like three or four, and then they run out of room. And uh. they're, like, the worst thing ever. Yeah, I guess you're supposed to use Kaveras and maybe, like, have them in storage and then keep loading them. I'm not sure, but it was, like, the worst thing ever. They ran out of ammo so fast, and it didn't even do, like, a dent to anything. I was like, okay, I won't be using those again. So the only thing I ever put on a ship is, like, the, if I'm going to put a weapon is the missile launcher. Because the missile launcher basically just go boom and like puts a big hole yeah, in everything. Yeah, kind of annihilates. Yep. Anyways, guys, goodbye till next episode. Say goodbye, Fudner. Goodbye. Goodbye.